This is a Game Caviar production. Okay, so not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and man, I have had a tough time making videos the past couple days. Yesterday, I was absolutely swamped and uh, doing stuff around the house, going out and, you know, doing things that I needed to do. And today, I was just, I was going to do a kill zone uh, video, and I was playing throughout the whole day. And then I stopped for a couple hours because I had to do some some schoolwork and uh, watch some TV and episodes and whatnot. Well, when I got back on, I kept getting disconnected from the uh, PSN network. I don't know whether it was a problem with my internet connection or a problem with the uh, PlayStation network. I'm guessing that it was my uh, internet service provider, my ISP. They were doing some sort of maintenance or something because my router kept restarting. But I was able to, I was actually lucky enough to get on Xbox 360 and get some, uh, get a couple rounds in of uh, Call of Duty, uh, Modern Warfare 3, what you're watching right now. But this isn't the topic of the video. What I originally was going to do and what's, what I'm going to do now is I want you guys to come in here and I want you to predict the, uh, the, the, opening lineup for the next gen consoles now i know we already know what's coming out on the wii u so let's just focus on the uh playstation 4 and the xbox 720 for me i'm thinking that with sony having such a hard time gaining traction during this gen and how at the beginning of the playstation 3's lifespan they had such a hard time getting sales and getting games that were actually uh, good on the console. I'm guessing they're gonna have to uh, come out and actually bring a lot of good games. So, what I'm guessing is they're gonna hit you with some exclusives. Hopefully, maybe an Uncharted, maybe another Kill Zone. Um, I don't think they're gonna do a Resistance, although I would hope for them to do a Resistance, but more of a. I, I wish they would go to more of a squad based. Uh, uh, system instead of the uh, traditional first-person shooter. I liked Resistance 3. That game was beautiful. It was amazing. It just did not get promoted as well, so it didn't sell that well. Um, so yeah, Uncharted Killzone, you know, all of the exclusives that you're used to seeing on PS3, I'd imagine that most of them will transfer over to PS4, Little Big Planet being one of them, and um, just the games like that. If you have any more, just throw them in there. Uh, let me know in the comments box. Uh, for Xbox, uh, man, I don't know. Uh, Forza, maybe. Uh, some sort of Gears of War, possibly. I think that with Microsoft, they're going to go for more of a uh, uh, like a new exclusive game that they're going to put out. Uh, you know, like a big name title. Maybe it'll be another Halo. I don't know. Seeing this out, they're coming over for Halo this year, Halo 4. I don't know whether they're going to do that again uh, next year. And I'm predicting that within a year we'll see the new uh, consoles. They'll at least be announced and we'll see some games and know exactly what they're coming out with. Maybe some pricing. Um, but uh, I don't... See, what, what the thing is with Xbox is that uh, PlayStation 3 has an amazing amount of exclusives. It's almost absurd how many exclusives they have. And Xbox really has gone away from that. Uh, of course, you have the Halo, the Gears of War, uh, what else, like Alan Wake, yeah, games like that that are exclusive to Xbox 360, so it's only, um, it, it'd be a good bet to see a lot of those games transfer over to Xbox 7, 720, and you know that these consoles, these companies, they, they, I mean, these consoles, they really are a big thing for these companies, especially with Sony and them going through all their financial troubles as a whole. They're going to want to put a lot into their next console. So I would imagine that between the two systems, I think Sony will still cost more, but it will be less than what the PS3 cost when it came out. And I, I, I believe that they're going to throw out a lot of games with their console. And Xbox being as though they already had a lot of success in this gen, they're going to give you a lot of good games, but it's... it's um, um, they're not going to have as wide of an, a selection as PS4. I don't know. Just let me know what you think. Predict the next-gen consoles opening lineup. Let me know. And, of course, like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so now. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studio. And I'm out. The 
This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.